season comes down to this. A cool November night in West Texas Thursday brings us playoff action with a short week. You'd better win right now in step one if you even want to sniff a state championship. Midland High kicks off our coverage. The Bulldogs tripping out to El Paso to take on El Dorado in their by district rounds. El Dorado, the home team, picking a Thursday, giving the Bulldogs a short week. Early first quarter, Midland strikes first. Jackson A to Z hits Julian Bowers, and Bowers is going to scramble the 35 yards for the score. That puts the dogs up seven to nothing. And of course, big time running back Ricky Hubert with the Bulldogs trailing. They take the lead back later, 14 to 11, with that one yard touchdown plunge. Later in the quarter, his name's Tykez Hampton. He's a Utah commit for wide receiver, and they're going to keep him on the field as much as possible. Special teams kickoff back for a score. The Aztecs go back up. We got a shootout, 17 to 14. Later, Anna Scavage to McLean Mannix, a Target he likes to hit as of late. The Vanderbilt commit's going to break a tackle, and he is gone up the sideline until he hits pay dirt. This one still going on right now as it started at 8 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. One more note, Cordy McMary and the wide receiver for Midland High becomes MHS's all-time leader in receiving yards tonight. Your score at last check, 51-38. Midland High looking to move on to 4A we go. Monahans and Denver City in the bi-district round of the playoffs. We start at Grande Communications Stadium, and this one brought to you by Tylen McAllister. Right there, rut row, fumble, 7 nothing Monahans already, but Denver City picks up that one. It's all good, though. The defense holds, no score, and they go right back to our Athlete of the Week, McAllister with a four-yard touchdown run, puts the Lobos up 13 nothing with the missed extra points. Second quarter, same score, McAllister, the magician. He's dead in the water at the line of the scrimmage. He somehow gets out of that tackle, breaks another 50-yard touchdown run. Wow. Take a second look. 31. Can't handle it. You don't want none. Get off me. And there he goes. McAllister avoids the strip in the open field as well. Switches hands and he's gone. Monahans goes on to win. 62 to 7. Local 2's Tara Talmadge takes it from here. Thanks, Peter. Joining me right now is Monahan's head coach, Mickey Owens. Big win tonight. Now you're heading into the area round of the playoffs. How does it feel? Oh, it feels fantastic. Anytime you win a go football at uh, this time of the year, you know, your first round, and take them one week at a time. But these guys came out and played excellent. Uh, we got a lot of guys in the game, so we were, we're very fortunate to go to the next round. You guys were up 41 to 0 at the half. What did you say to your guys to keep them focused for the rest of the game? Well, the second half, we got a lot of guys in. So that, that keeps a lot of those backups focused. And uh, that's exciting times. Those guys get some playing time. Time, get some guys in the end zone, and uh, a lot of our backup played, and, and kind of came out injury-free. Hopefully, and next week playing Graham at AT&T Stadium. How's that feel? Oh, excited? that's exciting. That's exciting for our kids. You know, they've always a lot of them go to take games, and so it's very exciting to be able to play them there. And so hopefully we can come out and put a pr good product on a big field. Mike, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your win. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That never gets old. Uh, one more note. Uh, Tara meant to say Jones 18's T Stadium. Lobos in Lubbock next week. All right, staying in 4A. Greenwood and Bushland. You saw those 50 flags earlier. You see them again tonight. First drive for Bushland. Colton Moore runs it in from 10 yards out. They go up 7-0. Later, Greenwood up by 7 now. Brockman off the option. Keeps it. Ben Brockman scores a touchdown. Ranger lead extended to 21-7. How about this? Brockman to Kobe Davidson in the corner. Good coverage. PAT no good, though. But Bushland would get it going and goes on to win a close one. 49-42. Greenwood season is over. They end at 7-3 overall. More foray. Andrews also in Lubbock taking on Borger tonight. Now, first quarter, Borger's going to go to the air game to their big-time tight end. But the Mustang defense getting a turnover. Fumble, Mustangs recover, and they would pick up with that explosive offense. First possession on offense for Tristan Williams, and he's going to hit Hayden Rochelle, and Rochelle's going to rumble 60 yards to Pater, 7 0. Andrews in the next Mustangs possession, Williams to Tori Kelly, the running back, playing a lot of wide receiver in that kind of offense, and he takes it all the way inside the Bulldog 5. That set up a quick TD pass to Rochelle. Andrews puts up plenty of points again to win 73 to 28. 
Mustangs moving on to 3A now. Alpine and Cisco. This game in Big Spring. First quarter, Cisco is about 10 yards out from the goal line. And Dathan Harding exploding in the end zone. Punishing an Alpine defender at the goal line. That's one way to finish off a run. 7 nothing. Lobos in front. Now in the second quarter, Cisco back at it again. Quarterback keeper, Case Gale, pulls it. He's gone. And he just puts the defense in a coffin. 14 0 Cisco at that point. Alpine falls tonight, 49 to 12. They're done. They finish the season at 4 and 7. 2 A for San and Ozono in San Angelo. First quarter, no score. Ozona's Jaden Perez is going to keep it and runs from 10 yards out for the score. 7 0 Lions. Forsan, though, would respond on their ensuing drive. Quarterback Bryce Hergert pushes his way in for the touchdown. The Lions would stay in front with the missed PAT. Start of the second quarter, Kobe Rodriguez, the handoff, and from 10 yards out again, went for two. They got it. Forsan got it going, though. Bulldogs, baby, moving on. Excuse me, Buffaloes, 41-22. More highlights coming up tomorrow night on the final score. That's just your Thursday batch of games. Friday, 10.25 p.m. We'll get you everything. More weather after the break.